My name is Tim Petraka. I'm 64 years old, and I currently live on the Cape Cod Canal in Bourne, Massachusetts. We have been married for 41 years, and we are high school sweethearts. Fortunately, got to retire in 2018, and I've been retired ever since and loving every minute of it. Since I've retired, my wife and I love to fish. We love to clam. We have eight lobster traps. We love to ride bikes on the canal. We lead a very active lifestyle together. I went on an annual regular checkup of the PSA, and we found out about a year ago that it had been elevated from previous years. Following the, the high reading of the PSA, uh, my doctor recommended I do an MRI. Based on that MRI, my doctor recommended I have a biopsy. So the biopsy results came back relatively quickly and they showed that the lesions that were identified in the MRI uh, were, some of them were in fact cancerous. After I learned my biopsy was positive, I immediately did what probably most people would do is get on the computer and research. When Tim was diagnosed with prostate cancer, I was scared. I had breast cancer eight years ago, and he was my rock. He was right there. So I felt I needed to be by his side um, during this. When my doctor first heard the news, she said that it really should be treated quickly and some sort of radical procedure would probably be needed, whether that was surgery, radiation, or hormone therapy. And I felt like I wanted to advocate for myself to not necessarily go to a radical approach of surgery. As a matter of fact, my brother had gone for a radical uh, prostate removal at one of the most prestigious hospitals in Massachusetts and ended up not only having urinary problems, but also having sexual function problems that have lasted the remainder of his life. So I was very scared about going into a radical procedure and really advocated with my urologist to take the myriad polaris test to give us another data point to make a good decision around. The report that came back was super simple to read and in a nutshell it said that I had about a one and a half percent chance of dying from prostate cancer in the next 10 years. When we heard about the polaris test I was so relieved. Polaris said my cancer aggressiveness was on the very low scale and felt like I could go into a program of active surveillance. And I've been very faithful to it. I get my PSA done every 90 days. I agreed with my urologist that I would do an MRI annually and a biopsy annually. Prolaris has brought a lot, a lot of value to me. The biggest thing I think is the test is personalized to me. It takes a look at the cancer, but measures it in its aggressiveness. How fast is this thing gonna grow in my body? And that's what I'm most interested in. My advice to other people who are going through this same experience, you need to discover more. You need to have the Prolaris test done. You need to have the DNA testing done. And then put all of those together and then make your decision. Prolaris gave me the ability to maintain the lifestyle that my wife and I have lived with for many years now and we get to enjoy for many more.